Hey guys, somewhere on the trail here, and it's been a couple months uh, since I finished the Ozark Highlands Trail, and I mentioned to a couple people that I would go over the gear that I used on the trail, so I've kind of got it all laid out here, and um, just so you can see it all in one shot, and I'm going to go ahead and cut the camera and pick each thing up one by one and go over it. Uh, I'm not really going to do a review, but uh, maybe I'll do that later. Just going to kind of give you the rundown on the things I carried and we'll mention right up front that it was pretty heavy. Um, if you're into ultralight, then this is not going to be gear that you would want to use. So um, let me go ahead and set up the camera and I'll go through each thing one at a time. So I'll be back in a second. Okay guys, first thing I'm going to start off with is the backpack. And I have the Granite Gear Blaze AC60. Um, it's pretty good size, 60 liter capacity, not a lot of uh, frills, two side pockets, one large front pocket. Uh, one good thing about this pack is there are no zippers, so you don't have to worry about uh, zippers breaking or getting dirty. So I kind of like that about it. Uh, there's no uh, pouches for the belt so I bought this little granite gear pouch and just put it on there myself to keep little things in like snacks and some other little items I have down here. And um, I got a couple uh, carabiners on here to hold my water shoes and a few things that I carry on the back, like I always wear a watch and then I've got a little paracord thing. Um, this pack weighs two pounds and 11 ounces, so not exactly ultra light, but very durable. I've had it for mm, about two years and it's held up very well. It's gone about maybe seven, 800 miles. So uh, Granite Gear Blaze AC60 on that. And here I have an REI that's up to the chair. Radiant sleeping bag. Um, it's rated to 20 degrees. They don't make this anymore. It's that orange bag that you've seen in my videos. But uh, this thing weighs over three pounds. So definitely, um, although it is nice, I would not recommend that for a through hike. Here I have the Big Agnes Seed House 3. Um, this is definitely overkill if you're a solo hiker. This is a three-man tent. And the only reason I carry a tent this big is because trying to get me and the dog and gear in there, it's, um, you know, pretty cramped. I have the, the uh, Fly Creek UL one also, but I tend to carry this for me and the dog. So we'll have a lot of room, especially on long trips, you know, I didn't want to be crammed in, but uh, this weighs four pounds. So the pack, sleeping bag, and this tent all together weigh about 10 pounds, which is way too much for um, your big three. Uh, one other thing I carry also is the Thermarest sleeping pad. I have the large size, this weighs 1.1 pound, but I slept a lot on my first hikes on the ground, my first section hike of the PCT and then I did some of the Ozark Trail and I just slept on the ground and then I bought this and even though it's a pound I'll never hike without it again because that has made all the difference in my sleeping. Now here I have a Roughwear Highlands bed and this is for the dog just to kind of get him up off the ground because he does get cold, um, you know, in the like November and stuff like that when it's pretty chilly out so getting him up off the ground is a good idea, at least it helps him some. And he also has a coat but I'll go over that in a minute. Um, and he carries this. This is the Mountain Smith K9 pack, and I just attach the little leash here and then tuck it into his pocket so when people come up I can just grab the leash and, and get a hold of him because he likes to run up to everybody, he thinks they're there just to pet him. 
Uh, not really sure how much this weighs. I think it was about $60, though, and it's been well worth it. He carries, um, I carry his bed, and he carries a few of my rain gear items, so we kind of make a trade-off. And uh, he carries this little lightweight plastic bowl for him so I can get him water and stuff when need be. Um, let see, I'll move on to the food bag. And this is another granite gear item. And it's just a simple little, it's a food bag that it zips down the middle so you can kind of look at all your food like this instead of it being where you have to reach in like that. And I like that. Um, I think this is the 16 liter bag, um, super lightweight. Um, so really like that. Um, I was using the Z-Pax food bag, but I broke the little straps off of it, so I just decided to try something different, and I really, I really like that. Um, let's get into a few small items. I got, like, the little rain kilt from Z-Pax. This is one of the things that Jackie carries, and um, a pack cover. These are all uh, Cuban fiber, very light, so it's nothing for him, for me to throw those in his backpack. And uh, let's see, you got the normal things, wipes, I'm sure you know what that's for. Little shovel, I've yet to use this. I have a little GSI shovel, but it's 3.1 ounces and this is 0 0.6, so I figured I'd try this out. Um, the Tent Lab, 0 0.6 ounces. So, haven't tried it, but looking, uh, hoping that it'll be better than the other one, at least it's lighter. Now for some of my um, video stuff, I used to carry, I have the, the uh, stick pick and I have a separate uh, mount that screws on here to go on the trekking pole, but my girlfriend got me this and this is a lot easier to just pop out of my pocket because it'll fit right in my pocket. So I use this um, on my last hike, which I have not um, edited or released yet, I did not have this in Arkansas, but I have taken it on a hike and it worked out really well. I had this in Arkansas with a little attachment and somehow the other piece just got totally crunched in my pocket, so I ended up doing handheld after that, but it was fine. And um, I carry these little Anchor 10,000 milliamp battery chargers. This will recharge my phone about three or four times. Um, the Samsung Galaxy has an ultra power saving mode, so if you keep it in that most of the time, at the end of the day my battery is only down to about 40% and then I'll plug it in here and once it gets up in the 90s I'll unplug it. And so I was able to go, uh, I think I used one of these all the way to ozone and I had actually stashed some in each of my food drops. If you watch the video, I had some of these other smaller kind. And this will charge the phone at least twice. But I ended up uh, not really needing them. I have two of these and two of these. And so I stashed them along the trail. But I really only needed two of these probably was, was enough. So it comes with these little pouches and little cable. And it, 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 it's pretty good. I would recommend those. Um, let's see, I've got my Z-Pax bear bag kit and I even have a little tiny stick in there so I don't have to look around and I smoothed it off so that's a good little thing. Um, got these black black diamond trekking poles. Um, they're the click lock kind and I haven't had any trouble with these. I've heard a lot of people um, say that Black Diamond is not the best at customer service, but I haven't had any trouble or had to reach out to customer service. I've had these um, since I got back into backpacking, so it's been about two years, and they've been great. I mean, they work great, they're light, they're durable, um, so I don't really have any complaints. I'd say these were about 129 bucks at REI. But uh, very durable, very durable. Uh, this was the umbrella that I had, which if you saw the video, um, I really needed this because we did get poured on that one day. This is a Coughlin's umbrella. It used to have the little 
thing on the end here with some batteries and a little flashlight, but if you've seen my video, it's sticking up out of the pack so high that I caught this on a number of trees. By the second uh, night I was there when I camped, this was broken off, so I don't even know what happened to it. It's not a bad umbrella, it's durable. Um, it's not really the one I wanted. This was cheaper than the uh, the Chrome Dome or the Euroskirm swing light. So I probably will replace this at some point, but it did do a good job and it certainly, I was certainly glad I had it. Um, I've got some other little things down here I'll go over. It's sort of uh, things that I keep for um, sort of like hygiene and stuff. I've got my little thing of toothpaste, which you always need, little hand sanitizer, and this is my little, keep all this stuff in my little belt pouch. Get a little multi-tool here, really light. It's got everything I need on it. Also, it has a little light on it as well. So, never had to use it, but I have used the pliers and the knife, so it's coming very handy super light used to carry a big knife and just i never used it uh fingernail slash toenail clippers always need those just in case um got my little z-pex toothbrush as it's so lightweight i may have just broken that i think it's all right emergency whistle got a compass on the end that's pretty useless but i like this because it's hollow and so I can put things in here. Um, I keep like some plastic toothpicks and sometimes I'll put um, ibuprofen in there. Just little things that'll fit in there and it um, kind of seals up nice, feels waterproof. So that's a good little, little thing. Got a little emergency blanket with some bite valves which I never use anymore. So I don't really take those too much anymore. Got a little Altoid box, and in here I have pre-made oh, fire straws, which I rarely build a fire, but it's very difficult. Um, in the months I tend to go hiking, things are very damp, and so I found these to be very helpful if I need to get a fire going. They, they burn really well, so, so I, I enjoy those, um, although I rarely use them. So now over here I've got my little cooking mug and this is the uh, Tokes uh, titanium mug and this will hold just about the right amount of water for a mountain house meal. I don't cook in, I don't cook in this. I just heat water up and then pour it into the mountain house so I don't measure anything. Just right about to the top is about all I need. I heat that up, pour it in. And that's all I use it for. That way I never really have to clean it. It doesn't get too messy. And sometimes I carry this just to make coffee in. And I also will put items in here, you know, and store them in there like that. This is kind of heavy. I, I A lot of times I'll go stoveless and I won't take that, um, any of that stuff. And uh, that helps out because then I don't need to carry one of those, which I carried one of these, um, to ozone which is about the halfway point and then I had another one there and I carried it the rest of the way just to make sure I didn't run out because being out there 11 days I did want to have coffee and I did want to have hot food on overnighters I don't really care you know I can go without coffee and stuff a couple other little items the hat that I attached to the umbrella just so I could be seen a little more um, some cheap gloves from Walmart. Now I like these because they're um, they have the fingertips where you can still use your phone if you have these on. So that's really handy. And then I've got my water shoes. I found these at a dollar store. They're copper tone. They're super light. As you can see, there's nothing to them, and they're good camp shoes and they're good water shoes. So I like to use those. Um, if I'm crossing anything that's deep and I need to take my shoes off. And I got a couple other little things here. I got my little uh, titanium spoon, which I love. Uh, the little long-handled spoon. I believe this is Tokes as well. And I like the long handle because, of course, you can get down into the mountain house bag without getting your hand in there and getting it all, you know, nasty. 
So we got that, a couple bandanas, a camp towel. I don't always carry all these, but it's nice to have a bandana. And I've got the Snow Peak uh, Max Light Titanium Stove, which I had never used until Arkansas. I bought it for that, and it proved to be uh, very efficient. I did like this. It's a 1.9 ounces, $59, super lightweight. Um, there are a couple stoves that are lighter, but and I do have one that's lighter that I bought since then that I hadn't tried. So. Anyway, I know this is a good one, the Snow Peak. So I do like that. Um, and uh, down here I've got a little bag and I keep a couple of the little Sawyer pouches in there just for extra water storage if I need it. And I just leave my Sawyer. Um, you may notice that when I'm hiking, you'll see this sticking out of my backpack and I don't usually filter water while I'm sitting there. I'll just fill up the bottle, screw this on, and then just drink it as I'm going. Now, sometimes I like to add the Propel um, powder mix for electrolytes, and when I do that, then I will filter, usually into one of those bags. I'll filter a liter in there, I'll mix it up, and then um, I'll just drink it straight out of the bag. But whenever it's just straight water, I'll just... Um, leave the Sawyer on there. This is the Sawyer Squeeze. I have a Sawyer Mini and I also have the Sawyer 2 liter bag system, but uh, so far I like this the best. It has a really good uh, flow rate. And uh, that's about it. I've got some other clothes that I'm going to go over, so let me grab those. Just quickly here, I've got, uh, this is the raincoat for Jackie. This is a rough wear jacket and it is waterproof so when we got rained on even though his pack got wet and his head and everything got wet his body stayed dry and when we got to camp that uh night that it rained i took this off and he was totally dry and it'll help keep him warm at night when it's super cold so that's good um i got this patagonia light weight jacket here that I bought just for that trip and I absolutely love this jacket. It's so lightweight and it's super warm uh, to the point where I had to take it off a few times but really love it. And I have this Columbia rain jacket that I bought and it's okay. Um, it's a little heavy and I only wore it once but um, I guess it's kind of better to have it and not need it. I mean the day that it rained so much, I really didn't wear it. I uh, just used the umbrella and the rain killed, and that kept me pretty dry. And um, other than that, I mean, I just had a few changes of shirt, socks, and underwear, but nothing, you know, that's pretty much everything that I carried in my pack. And because my big three are so heavy, I was probably carrying about. 35 pounds I would say which is way too much I would never do another hike um, that was 165 miles I'll never walk that far again with this gear I can tell you I will be swap swapping some out for my le next long distance hike um, I'm hoping at some point I can do a really long trail and for that I will definitely be swapping out all of my big three items and I've really been looking at Z-Pack stuff a lot lately because it's super lightweight and I hear a lot of good things about it. But um, that's kind of a brief overview of the things that I carried and other than that I mean I had a few other items like I had the guidebook and you know a couple things like that but that's pretty much all the gear I used and anyway I don't know if that'll help you out um, I stashed food so I didn't carry any of the, the bear uh, bins or anything like that I stashed them in the woods and maybe I'll do a video on that um, later and show you those and stuff but for now i just kind of wanted to go over the gear and show you what i used and hopefully this will help you out and hopefully i'll see you somewhere on the trail appreciate you watching